Joe Mack. Oh, he's, he's going to come in with us? Well, maybe. I think so. Well, you have to whatever. Bear witness to this. Bear witness to what? Whatever. <laughs> so how you been? I watched our interview on the internet. Yeah, and how would you think? Was it just as magical watching it the second time instead of being in it? I noticed that it was over, and and you were packing up, mm -hmm. and and you said, jokingly, I'm gonna make out with Donnie, and Danny Wood said, hold on, <laughs> whoa, 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 mm -hmm. and that was it. Yeah, and that was that was our magical we were, moment. Yeah, we were gonna behave. Yeah, we, we were. were. Name, and then people mm -hmm. interjected and we were not. And you know, if anything, I think Danny was the most enthused about the whole thing. <laughs> I will tell you that Danny, since probably sixth grade, Danny has watched me make out with more girls than anyone uh, could ever possibly. <laughs> you know, yeah, we'll like, get to that. Well, no, he's one of my best friends, so he, you know, if I, was, if, if I met a new girl like in high school and was making out with him, Watch. Oh. Just like I would watch him, like, kiss. <laughs> let me see you guys kiss, you know, fun stuff. Really? Now, doesn't he think that maybe there should be some private time, or is he getting tips from you because you are the master kisser? Well, it's nice that you say I'm the master kisser, having uh, said it from experience. Yes, um, yes. I think it adds credence to what you're mm -hmm, saying, mm -hmm. which I've always known and believed yes. that I am the master kisser. No, you um, Hence the mouthful of Altoids. Nice, nice. Because I just woke up. Yeah, um, you just woke Yeah. Um, no, I don't think he's getting tips. I think it's just a fun thing that we do. Oh. It's, uh, you know. Maybe now, because we had that episode and Barbie was in the room, from now on, whenever Barbie makes out with somebody, <laughs> I, I often cheer her on. You saw me the other really night. they had a little more bar. You know, like when, you know, it, it's very popular nowadays for two girls to make out. Oh, yeah. Like you see it like on a TV show, reality show, and the guy will encourage two girls to make out mm -hmm. and they watch and they get a kick out of it. Right. That's, that's all it is. I, I get a kick out of seeing Danny, like if he meets a new girl, mm -hmm. making out with her and stuff. And, right. and I'm sure it's the same with him. Isn't Danny married? Uh, and he hasn't seen me do that in a long time. Yeah, it's really? Been years. What, yeah. for making out with anybody? Yeah. Yeah. I was married for a long time. Oh, that's true. Yeah. All right, so you catch, I, I believe you're catching up. I'm lost time. I'm not necessarily <laughs> catching up. I just, uh, <laughs> uh, you, you are worth whatever consequence you uh, <laughs> Well, thank you, Danny, as were you. Danny, by the way, Danny, by the way, is not married. He isn't married? No, he's not. Oh, well, let's go get him some ladies. Let's bring them in, right? I think he's doing okay. Oh, he is? <laughs> Danny's, he's uh, not struggling? No, we're going to go to Danny. Mm -hmm. Strange phenomenon. <laughs> Why do you assume that they wouldn't go to him? Um, no, it's not that. It's just, they just go to him. Mm. He's a powerful guy when he's, it comes to women. He's a powerful guy. Now, why don't we get to talk a little tour stuff, and then I have a whole sh uh, show and tell happening later, and you, you're going to want to make sure. I'm ready for whatever you got. All right. First off, how's the tour going? Are you tired yet? Are you feeling okay? I'm feeling good. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little, uh, it's a little strange to be back uh, in New England like, mm -hmm. so quickly. Right. It seems, uh... It seems like we, because it was so big the first time around here, in, right. even though we're only in Boston, uh, it was just so, so fun and, and, and took so much energy and it's so exciting. It's almost like, oh, we're coming back. We're <laughs> like 30 minutes from Boston. Right. You know, it's uh, it kind of seems too soon right. because we hadn't really come down from it yet, uh, to be honest with you. Well, we haven't had enough. That's why. We need more, 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 and KOTB. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, you know it is sometimes. I mean, I honestly, I mean, I, if I thought about it long and hard, I would, I would, I would guesstimate that it would seem like by my biological clock, like we're two weeks away from bumping into each other again and making out. Right. But now right. it's here. The yeah. Days are it's it's kind of nice having these dates. Yeah. You know, just when you, it just happens when you come to town, I show up, we chat, we we kiss. It's right. kind of a nice little routine yeah. get going. I am being presumptuous. Yeah. <laughs> Well, well, we'll talk about that in a little yeah. bit. Uh, how do you feel about uh, Obama, our newly elected president? You psyched about that? Um, well, let me s state for the record that I'm psyched about anyone being <laughs> new president. Uh, but no, I, I'm very, um, I'm very excited to see what he's going to do, mm -hmm. and, and, and very hopeful that um, we're tur turning a corner mm -hmm. um, in this country. Um, and you know, I, I actually. Have, long been an admirer of John McCain mm -hmm. and was very um, tempted to vote for him. But, um, so I, you did vote? I did vote mm -hmm. and I voted for the president-elect. Nice. And um, 
I am. Um, but I, you know, it, it was hard to let go of McCain, you know, because I really do think he's a, a, a good man. I think he would be a good president, and I think. But I honestly, at the end of the day, I think his time passed. I mm -hmm. think he should have been president in 2000, but Bush and the Republicans saw to it that he was not allowed to even run for president directly. So, um, you know, unfortunately, his time passed, and it's it's Obama's time. Yes. And and. Uh, I forgot what I was going to say. Right. Sarah Palin, find her to be an attractive lady, but kind of, you know, whatever. Sarah Palin's hot. I don't <laughs> care what anyone says. She's hot. and. Have you kissed her? No, but I would. Yeah, <laughs> really? <laughs> well, I mean, her husband let me, but right. she's hot. Man. Yeah, she is hot. She's so hot, she makes Tina Fey look hot. <laughs> That's how hot oh, she I is. I like Tina Fey. But, um, you know, I'm going to say one thing. Okay. George, and this is not the time to be political, but I'm going to say it. George Bush right now is going to go down as the worst president in history. But I want to say this. There has not been an attack on American soil since 9-11, and he promised us that that would not happen. And, and in time, I think people will grow to respect and appreciate that. Mm -hmm. That is no small feat. You know, if you go back to the days after 9-11, everybody was just waiting for the next bomb to go off. Everyone's waiting for the next disaster to happen, and nothing ever happened. Mm -hmm. And I, I think, you know, while, you know, and, and if you really think about that time, it, that's all any American could have asked from him at that time. Don't let something else happen here in America. Please don't let another attack happen. And he did it. You know, over time, people expected more of him and wanted other things from him, but he really accomplished the one thing that most Americans wanted him to do is to keep us safe. So, for whatever that's worth, you know, I know it's fun to bash George Bush, and I certainly never voted for him, and I've never been a big fan of his, but I do respect the fact that he kept us safe for the last seven years. Look at us getting political. We're getting political. We, more uh, double threat, triple, quadruple threat guy. That's what you, you are. You Brains, can, looks, dancing, singing. Know. Please, stop, I'm overwhelmed. You know. You can edit the political stuff out. Oh, no, I'm not going to keep all of it. Um, do you do like a special ritual before you go on stage? Um, me personally? Yeah. Not a ritual per se. I just do certain things that I do. Mm -hmm. um, stretching is a big one. Mm -hmm. Showering. Showering? You That's know, a good one. i got to tell you something. The old days, I didn't shower. I probably showered once a week in the old days. What? I just, you know what, it was a thing where I'd get off stage and I'd be soaking wet with sweat and I'd have so much adrenaline from the performance and I'd be like on such a high that I just didn't have time. It was like I wanted to get back out, I wanted to get out into the hallways of the arena mm -hmm. and be around people, I wanted to get to the hotel and be around the fans and like, I didn't even want to take the time to be alone for two minutes because I was probably afraid that it was all going to just go away, right. you know what I mean? So I just, I stayed in the moment mm -hmm. all the time. and. And shower moments were not the moments that I stayed in. <laughs> but now... Wow, disturbing fact, but now we know. Well, you know, I mean... I thought you were setting, like, rooms on fire, throwing furniture out, like, hotel rooms, getting arrested. That's what I thought you were doing. I thought you were at least clean. Um, I stayed fresh somehow. <laughs> baby powder worked. It was the baby soft. Baby powders <laughs> and deodorant. You know, seven-day stack of deodorant is okay. But, yeah. but um... I was doing a lot of crazy stuff too. Not lighting hotel rooms on fire. That was actually right. That was fake. Not a true fact. I that know. is not a, a true fact. But now I shower before the show, mm -hmm. and I shower immediately after the and show. And during the show, I think you should incorporate that I a, a shower about, on stage. I thought about showering during the show the other night, but yeah. I didn't do it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just saying. Well, I, I think the ladies would be open to that. Yeah, a little salt and sweat is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you know. I sweat a little bit during the show, so I think um, that's good. But uh, that's probably my most important ritual, is showering <laughs> before show and after show. Mm -hmm. It's a must. Okay. I want freshness. Yes. Yeah. Donnie wants it fresh. 